Hello, today we're going to discuss universal gravitation problems. And that just means we're actually going to plug in numbers and calculate gravity forces in using the universal gravitation equation. Remember, Newton discovered the equation gravity force is equal to some constant, which we call the universal gravitation constant, or big G. And we multiply that by the masses of the two objects and divide the whole thing by the distance between them squared. Um, and if we're going to do a problem, we actually need a, a situation and we need the values of these things. Um, I'm going to use the situation of finding the gravity force acting on me from the Earth. So I need the two masses of me and the Earth. I need the distance that separates us and I need the value of the constant. Well, I gave you the value of the constant. People have measured this in the lab, found it to be equal to 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11th Newton meters squared over kilograms squared. My mass is equal to about 65 kilograms. And now I need the mass of the Earth and the distance between us. Here's where I turn to the Internet. The Internet tells me, I looked up on Wikipedia, that the mass of the Earth, other people have measured, is equal to 5.9742 times 10 to the 24th kilograms. That is an enormous mass, which we expect for something about the size of a planet. Um, I also need the distance between us, and here's where you need to do a little bit of thinking. What is the distance between an object on the surface of a planet and the planet itself? It is not zero meters. Even though I am standing on the surface of Earth, uh, the distance between me and the Earth is really, what we need is the distance between the centers of mass of the two objects. So we uh, need to find the center of mass, between, or the distance between my center of mass and Earth's center of mass. Let's draw a little picture to help us. The center of mass of Earth is close to the actual center of Earth, and we're going to count it as a circle. So if I'm standing on the uh, surface of Earth, I am incredibly tiny compared to Earth. There's me on the surface of Earth. Uh, the distance between me and the center of Earth is about equal to the radius of the Earth which is pretty well known. So I'm going to use that. The radius of Earth is equal to 6.378 times 10 to the 6 meters. Okay, now I have all my information. Um, I'm going to plug it into my equation, and I highly, highly encourage you to do it along with me, um, because this kind of calculation with all the exponents and large numbers uh, can become very tricky uh, can cause people some problems. So please try it along with me. I'm actually going to plug in these values to the equation. Gravity force is equal to the constant, 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11 Newton meters squared over kilograms squared, which gets multiplied by the two masses of the two objects. Mass of Earth is 5.9742 times 10 to the 24th kilograms, and my mass is about 65 kilograms. And the whole thing gets divided by the distance between me and the Earth, which is equal to the radius of Earth, which is given as 6.378 meter, or times 10 to the 6th meters squared. Okay, now here, I really, really suggest that you pause the video, actually plug this into your calculator, and find out what you get, because if you don't get what I get, then uh, it's likely that you're doing something wrong, and you should probably come see me in class or after class, find out uh, what you were typing in wrong. Um, so go ahead and pause it, find your value, and I'll post mine in a moment. I plug this into my calculator. And I get a value of 636.7 newtons. And that seems um, maybe reasonable. Um, the units, let's check the units. Um, we actually get newtons because the two kilograms, kilograms times kilograms from the masses of the objects, cancel with the kilograms squared in the denominator of the universal gravitation constant. And the meters squared in the denominator from the from the uh, 
radius of the Earth squared uh, is found is cancels with the meters squared in the numerator of the universal gravitation constant, which leaves us with just newtons. This is what we'd expect if we're measuring a force. So that checks out. Now, how about the number? Well, I chose this example on purpose because we actually have a way to calculate gravity force. And if we're on Earth, I expect you would use an easier equation. We already discovered an equation for gravity force on Earth. You'll remember it's gravity force equals 9.81 newtons per kilogram times the mass of the object, which in this case is 65 kilograms. Let's plug that into our calculator and we find out that the gravity force on a 65 kilogram object that is on the surface of Earth should be 637.65 newtons. Well, these two numbers are very close to each other. So it seems that our equation, our calculation checked out. Um, we'll do more practice with this in class. Uh, if you are not getting this answer or if you're having any other difficulties or misunderstandings with the equation, please write those down and tell me in class. We'll talk about them. Until then.